greatest danger to the unity of this country, to the breakdown of this country, is not Hebrews. It's not IPOC. It's not Biafra. It's not even Yorubas. It's not the Ijaz. It's not uh, Ariel Wyvin. It is the uh, husband. This, uh, this armed headman carrying AK-47. And then also this uh, Boko Haram. These two things are the things that are threatening this country. Boko Haram has been there for nearly 10 years. First World War didn't last up to five years. Second World War didn't last up to six years. This is the longest war. It's a war. And you know the thing that worries me about it? Every day they tell us they have some back, they have done this, they have done this. The war is being fought round and round, round and round. In the school of infantry, the first lesson we are taught is that the only easiest way to defend is by being on the offensive. If I'm to advise Mr. President uh, Omar, I will tell him that they are fighting a defensive war. They can't win that war. They must be on the offensive. Offensive means security. Intelligence must find out. Who are these Boko Haram? Where are they? Who are they? Uh, squadrons of air airport. And go and raid them in their place. Carry the attack to their homes. America will support us. Britain will support us. If we continue what we are doing, it's not going to work. They get us strength. They have ten now. They have the kidnapping group. Many places are are not a. Uh, can go many places. They are spreading around the country. They have attacked Enugu. Make no mistake about it. The people have an ambition. There is no need to make no mistake about it. Because I read an article on Saturday in Sun. A press statement by the. Uh, that's uh, president. I mean, he said clearly what they, what they planned. He says that our land is their own. He didn't deny it. It's a press conference recorded. In Ibo land, the land is owned by people. We don't see, we don't accept that. And then the matter is serious. But I want